With no doubt hypersonic missiles will play a huge role in foreign policy in the years to come, as core pillars of geopolitics such as geography and technological power can be undermined by hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic glide vehicles differ from traditional ballistic missiles by their ability to fly so fast, maneuver and operate at lower altitudes making them harder to detect by radar. With this combination of maneuverability and high speed, poses significant challenges for conventional missile defense systems of the time. With the advantage again swinging toward attack, the defense industry is concerned that weapons of this type will reignite the kind of arms race that dominated the Cold War era. In this video we have brought to you the top 10 hypersonic missiles in the world. Some of these missiles are already in service, while others are in their later stage of developing. Avangard. The Avangard is a nuclear-capable hypersonic boost glide vehicle developed by Russia. It was one of the six next-generation weapons described by Russian President Vladimir Putin during his speech in March 2018. Avangard can presumably reach speeds between Mach 20 to Mach 27. This means if traveling at the speed of Mach 27 it can get to Washington, D.C. from Moscow in just 15 minutes, giving no time for the USA to respond. With its ability to change position and altitude it is very difficult to defend a country from this missile. Its development begun in the 1980s by then-Soviet Union, but stopped due to the collapse of the Union. The program was restarted in 2002. More than 14 flight tests were carried out before officially putting it in service in 2019. The Avangard missile has a range of over 6,000 kilometers, weighs approximately 2,000 kilograms, and can carry a nuclear or conventional payload of more than 2 megatons in TNT equivalent. Compared to the Hiroshima bomb, its energy produced after the blast is 130 times more than that of Hiroshima. HGV-202F the HGV-202F is an Indian hypersonic glide vehicle being designed, developed, and manufactured by an Indian defense and space company HTNP Industries. It will travel at a speed of Mach 21 with a range of 5,500 km. If the HGV had a range of more than 13,000 km it would travel from Mumbai to Washington, D.C. in just 50 minutes. And it will have the ability to maneuver and operate at lower altitudes. It will be capable of carrying a carrier load of more than 300 kilograms. KH 47M2 Kinzel. The KH 47M2 Kinzel is a sixth generation hypersonic Russian nuclear capable air launched ballistic missile. The missile has a speed of more than Mach 12 and an ability to perform evasive maneuvers at every stage of its flight. At such speed, it takes just over 10 minutes for the missile to reach its maximum range. The Kinzel has a reported range of 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers, while carrying a nuclear or conventional payload of 500 kilograms. On July 2018 TASS News report suggested the missile's range would exceed 3,000 kilometers if outfitted on the Tupolev Tu-22M3 bomber. The missile is designed to hit US and NATO warships posing a threat to strategic missile systems in European Russia part and to destroy NATO missile defense system and ballistic missile defense ships and land objects close to Russia borders, such as one in Romania. It is allegedly designed to overcome any known or planned US air or missile defense systems with an accuracy point of 1 meter. The missile is ready in service with the Russian Air Force and many aircrafts have been upgraded to carry the missile. AM-183A. The AM-183A is a developmental boost glide hypersonic missile to provide future non-nuclear strike against time-sensitive, heavily defended, high-value targets from standoff range. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States, the boost glide weapon is propelled to a maximum speed of more than Mach 10 before gliding towards its target. The missile is planned to have a range of 1,000 mile, but the payload is yet to be determined. The US had been left behind in the development of hypersonic weapons, but it is trying hard to get the air-launched rapid response weapon hypersonic missile into production before the end of fiscal 2022, despite of recent failures when trying to launch the missile on the B-52 test aircraft, where it failed to fire up after separation from the aircraft. 14X the 14X is a Brazilian hypersonic glide vehicle under development by the Aerothermodynamics and Hypersonic Laboratory for the Brazilian Air Force. The vehicle will have a speed of Mach 10 and able to lift up to 100,000 feet of altitude. The 14X is expected to make its first qualification test flight from Alcantara Space Center in 2022.
DFZF. The DFZF is a Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle previously denoted by the Pentagon as Wu-14 and currently officially in operation since October 2019. Though little is known about the hypersonic Gilder vehicle, it is alleged that it can fly at speeds of between Mach 5 and Mach 10 and is capable of extreme maneuvers to evade defenses. China has invested significant resources in the DF-17 and its other hypersonic weapon programs. The PLARF have conducted multiple tests of the DFZF since its first test in 2014, including successful tests of the DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile designed specifically to operate with the hypersonic Gilder vehicle. 3M22 Zircon The 3M22 Zircon is a scramjet-powered maneuvering anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile currently in testing by Russia. The weapon was presented by Russian President Vladimir Putin during his annual address to the Federal Assembly, where he noted that Zirkin can travel at a speed of Mach 8 to Mach 9 with a range that is estimated to be 270 nautical miles, while carrying a 450 kg payload. With that speed it can penetrate existing naval defense systems. The US Aegis missile interceptor systems require 8 to 10 seconds of reaction time to intercept incoming attacks. In those 8 to 10 seconds, the Russian Zirkin missiles will already have traveled 20 kilometers, and the interceptor missiles do not fly fast enough to catch up. Russian Defense Ministry announced six successful tests of the missile from warship, submarines and on ground. BrahMos 2 BrahMos-2 is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under joint development by India's Defense Research and Development Organization and Russia's NPO Mashinostroenia, which have together formed BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. It is the second of the BrahMos series of cruise missiles. The BrahMos-2 is expected to have a range of 1,000 km and a speed of Mach 8. Design of multiple variants of the missile was completed by October 2011, with testing starting as early in 2012. BrahMos-2 will be especially strategically valuable for India. BrahMos-2 will give India a major strategic advantage in mountain warfare against China and Pakistan. The missile is designed to find targets hidden behind and within a mountain range, and its hypersonic qualities means the missile would likely pass through Beijing's defense systems like a knife through butter. Its ability to maneuver through air and missile defenses also provides Russia with a serious strategic advantage and deterrence measure against its adversaries.